My name is Richard Brooks. I'm a professor of computer engineering at Clemson University in South Carolina. I've been there for about 15 years. I've been involved with computer security in one way or another since about 1983. My talk is looking at um, how the attack surface is evolving. The attack surface is um, an idea that they've had in security for a while that you try and reduce the um, openings for, for a potential attacker to get into your systems. You have like one entry into your corporation from the internet. You, you allow a very reduced amount of connections there that you can properly fortify so that you have some, some amount of security. And the, the talks that I go, um, I make a, a few points, which is that that doesn't really exist anymore. The first point is that you can no longer restrict access to your network. Uh, an example of that is uh, Target, a retailer in the U.S. Uh, they lost the personal information of about 18 million people. And what happened was the people that did their um, heating and air conditioning got hacked and they had a connection to the target network. And so through the air conditioning vendor, they got in, they got to the point of sale and they got all the credit card numbers. The other thing is um, bring your own device so then people with their own uh, cell phones, etc., taking them to work, they've... Uh, companies did try to have policies and control that, but then they quickly realized there's so many different types of cell phones, so many different operating systems, so many different apps, and also a lot of employees um, do not follow secure practices while they're at home. And so you ended up with the IT companies, or the IT groups of the company, having to police the employees all the time and the, the, the cost. The, they basically gave up on that. Um, one way to stop it would be, for example, the uh, National Security Agency, the NSA, in the US, they don't let people take their cell phones into the secure facilities, uh, but they found it very difficult to hire people under the age of about 50 with that type of policy. Software is insecure, the hardware is not secure, and the routing of the network is not secure, and the attack surface, yeah, as a concept right now is not a good idea. And, but that there are technologies that can, for example, reproducible bills could go against the supply chain attacks where you depend on the software of, the, of what the other people were using. That's been described by the um, NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology in the US. That's now called the new normal. So that, that I mean, that is a very, real issue. The hardware-based attacks, up until Stuxnet, which attacked the Iranian reactors, would have been considered somewhat far-fetched. But after that occurred, and the um, software that they used became widely available, that's no longer theoretical. That's actually, you know, that's, while not totally wild, widespread, neither is it uh, that rare either. Then I propose some things that are on the horizon that could improve the situation somewhat. One is a way of um, building the system from the source code that's more reliable. On the other hand, the economic reality of starting everything from scratch is probably, it would be difficult to, to see that 
really being competitive and work so that you, you do have to migrate from where we are to... I mean, on the other hand, it's not reasonable to just live in a constant state of fear and doubt.